He and Roxanne had weathered many storms in their two-year romance. There was the race car model who said she was seeing the Count, and lots of him. And there was the Count's wife, Francine, who blamed Roxanne for breaking up their marriage. I hate Roxanne with a passion. But the Count has displayed only steely courage and glib humor over his latest loss. The funny thing is, you know, Francine gets divorced, and within the day she gets married. Roxanne and I, we break up, and, and within two months uh, she, gets, uh, she gets married. So now, you know, maybe I shouldn't be a race car driver. Maybe I should, you know, be hired by mothers who have a problem marrying their daughters. I'll date them for a little while, <laughs> and you know that they'll get married. Boom. <laughs> I wish him the best, and I hope he feels that same way. As for Roxanne's new husband, well, he's got a lot on his mind these days. Young Hagen is trying to figure out a way to keep the wife he loves and retain the millions he's expected to inherit. He's spending these honeymoon weeks with his mother in Australia. She said I got married because she thinks, I think, I'm sure she feels deep down inside that she's, you know, she's lost a sheep or whatever. But it's just, you know, we're going to have 30 straight days together to, you know, get everything out in the open and everything. And once we come back, then we'll be fine because we won't have any of this rush, 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 rushing around or anything. And Roxanne has her own trouble. Just this week, she reported a burglary at her home. She told police a few days ago that certain personal items were stolen from her apartment. But the world is... A rough place. Is a rough place. That is. That's the truth. Today, Roxanne tools around Palm Beach in her husband's Ferrari Testarossa. His mom gave it to him for his 35th birthday. And Roxanne Pulitzer Hagen wonders about her fate and future as Mrs. John Hagen. If I were to be the cause of this, you know, and, and he were to say to me, you know, I just can't you know, give, give this up or, you know, I just can't uh, cut off my relationship with my mother. This is not something that I would hold somebody to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody has to make the decision for themselves. And I, I'm not in John's shoes. No, it's not my money. It's not my mother. Thank you, Lord, for blessing this marriage of JV and Roxas. And we give you all the praise and thanks. But she'll always have her memories. This poor girl who married her way into Palm Beach society has made the biggest splash yet in her adopted hometown with a cut rate for a win weekend in Las Vegas. And as the good people of Palm Beach shiver over their martinis, here's hoping Roxanne and John are forever in blue jeans. They live happily ever after.